Hi everyone. So my grandmother watches my video. She had a couple questions. We're going to cover these four today. So, first of all, what is Godot? What is Blender? What you're looking at right here, this is Blender. Things it's good at are things like this. I said things like this. Right. So here's our cube, and I can do a bunch of things to it very easily. Right, so I can select this face, G, hold out right, right? I can press E to extrude it. I can press S to scale that. Right, and now I can press E to extrude that. And we have this sort of interesting shape. I don't know, maybe it's some sort of bat. Um, and then if I want to, I can also do stuff do stuff like this. So base color is right, material is gonna be red. And let's just make sure material pretty good. Yeah, so now our whole thing is red. But let's say I wanted to um, make this side purple for some reason. Now I can just choose purple over here. Alright. Click click a sign here. And now this side is purple. And so that's really fast and easy. And so what I use Blender for is stuff like that. So if I want to make a shape, it's faster, it's easier to do that in Blender than it is in Godot. I don't know that Godot actually can make shapes like this. I, I haven't really played around with it because it's just so much faster and easier in Blender, and I already know the software. So what Blender does, it makes 3D shapes. That's what it's really good at. And there's a bunch of other stuff that, that it can do um, that we're not going to worry about for the moment. Now, Godot, what does it do? Let's file save. So here's our cube. That's the thing we we're working in, and I just messed with it. So file save. Now we open up here. It'll load. And you can see that it's glowing. That's because Blender gave us a light by default. Generally, we want to handle that sort of thing from inside of Godot, rather than letting Blender do its, do its own thing. Also, why is this material, uh, this material be purple? There we go. So, that, that's, so this is what it looks like in Blender. And if I file save that, that's now what it looks like, like in Godot. So Godot, what is Godot good for? If, if Blender is really good at making 3D shapes, and messing with them and doing all sorts of things. What is Godot good for? Well, I'll show you. So here's a character by 3D. Here's a character by 3D. What does that do? We'll, sh we'll see in a minute. We need to add a collider. And so we can see it, we also need to add a mesh. Okay, so. Why, what is collision? So if we run this, wait, did I add collision yet? I did not, okay. So if we run this game, what's gonna happen is, I need to add my script for character body 3D. All right, so that's the script. I can mess with this. This is instructions. So this comes with the engine. This is written by the engine by default, but I can mess with it. And almost always you will mess with it. It actually tells you exactly how to mess with it in this comment right here. Um, oh yeah, difference between a comment and a part of the code. Comment is for human to read. Code is for human and computer to read. So um, these these names like speed and jump velocity and whatever, I can name this like Splim app if I want to. And now it's complaining that the, the name is different. I'll, I'll change it back, right? I can name it to Splim app, and that's completely valid. It's it's as far as the computer is concerned, Splim app and speed are just as valid names, like it doesn't matter. But speed is very readable for us humans. So we're gonna want to make variable names in our programs very obvious as to what it does. And this extends thing, right? This extends just means it's part of this character body 3D. It's, it's attached to it. It's taking this character body 3D and it's extending it as in it's adding stuff. So what is a mesh? Mesh is just so, there's a more formal definition for now, 
a mesh is just a 3D shape. So this cube is a mesh. This whatever this is is a mesh. That just means any 3D shape. And if I run this game, you'll see that our character body... Okay, well, let's, let's add lighting so it's easier to see. But um, you can see that this character body 3D is just falling right through this level right here. Let's, let's, let's add some missing... So that, that'll work for here. But yeah, you can see it's just falling right through. So why is that bad? Well, you want things to walk. To, you, you want, you, like in this case, we're making a game where you can jump around and move around. So it would help if things could know if they were supposed to stop, right? So if you, if you jump, you're going to fall down and it hit some sort of ground or whatever. You know, and if, if I have this card and I have this card, they're going to bump into each other. This is not a useful card, by the way. Don't worry about the quality of it. Um, they're going to bump into each other. And we want the same thing in our game. So how do we do that? Now, the re another, another good reason to use Blender rather than just doing everything you could know is there's this cool trick where you type in dash col. See you all. At the end of... Uh, an object's name, and what that does, col is short for collision, so we want things to collide with each other. Anytime two things collide, that's called collision. If we are checking for collision, we're, you know, it's called collision checking. I think that's all pretty self-explanatory. So now I need to save this file. Save. And now if we reload this, like when, when Godot has figured out that there's a change and it, and it updates itself, um, so yeah, any any time, any time uh, I do something and then save it, like file file save, right? Godot is able to check if the file has been updated, and then it'll use the updated version of the file. And now, if we run the game, you can see that our cube is standing on rather than passing through this shape. And I can even, if I want to, move left, right forward back. And currently, because of where I placed the camera, the controls are backwards compared to what they should be. Um, and that's something easy to fix. I'll just put the camera on the other side. So I'm just going to... That? Yeah. Just put the camera on the other side. Okay. Well... That didn't work. This is one of the things that you experience when you do game development. Is that sometimes you try something and it just doesn't work. That should work the way I want it to. Yep, back is back, left is left, right is right, all that stuff. And we can even jump, yay. And you can see that even if I jump, I'm falling back to the platform. So, in summary, what is Blender good for? This is Blender. What is Blender good for? Blender is good for making stuff in 3D. And this is a very basic example of what you can make, but you can make all kinds of stuff. Um, I've made entire levels. I've made, you know, models of little cars and stuff. So if I wanted to make a racing game, I would almost certainly make the car in Blender and then import it into Godot and start adding code. So adding scripts like this script, right? So what is, what is Godot good for? And game engines in general. Godot is not the only game engine. There's lots of them out there. Um, what is Godot good for? It keeps all your stuff in one place. That's a good thing. It helps you organize all of your stuff. It lets you attach scripts to stuff. It comes with a bunch of built-in functions. So I don't have to understand how the collision checking works. I just have to know that it exists. And then Godot just does it all for me. So... Yeah, that works. And did I have to figure out how that works or why it works? No, it just works. Um, and so you can program games without an engine. Many people have done it, but it's easier if you don't. It's easier if you use an engine. Um, and then yeah, I think we covered collision. And then I yeah, and then just this is a mesh. This is a mesh. Any 3D object. If you say 3D object, that just means mesh and vice versa. Um, and I'm sure there's there's some new ones I'm missing there, but that's that's the basic gist of it. Let me just double check that I have collision mesh. Yep. 
Okay. Uh, that's everything for today. And we'll come back and answer the rest of these questions in another video.